For the second problem, we will continue with some of the rules of probability. Suppose we have two events, A and B, where the probability of event A is 30% and the probability of event B is 50%. Now in part one, we are going to assume that the events are disjoint, also known as mutually exclusive. This means that if event A happens, event B cannot happen. Also, if event B happens, event A cannot happen. I like to think about these events as the probability of getting an A or the probability of getting a B. If you get an A on the test, you can't also get a B on that same test. And once again, that means the events are disjoint. As soon as we know one happens, the other cannot happen. So if you made a B on the test, you could have not made an A on the test. If you made an A on the test, you cannot make a B on the test. Disjoint and mutually exclusive mean the same thing, and it means if one event happens, the other event cannot happen. So since these events are disjoint, we can add them, and we'll use the OR word for that. What is the probability of event A or B? And the probability of event A or B would be 30% plus 50%, which is 80%. Next, we are going to look at the probability of A and B, assuming they are independent. And these are good example problems because for us to multiply together, we need independent events. So we would say that the probability of B would not be influenced by the probability of A. Also, the probability of A would not be influenced by the probability of B. That's what it means for two events to be independent of each other. Independent events do not change their probability if the other event happens. So let's think about two events that are very dependent. If I told you 2% of the time we have a storm in Knoxville, and 1% of the time your power goes out. Well, what is the probability we have a storm and your power goes out? Now when you think about it, if we're having a large storm in Knoxville, the probability of your power going out would actually increase. So those are examples of dependent events. But what about the probability we have a storm in Knoxville and the New York Knicks win their game? And those two events don't seem to depend on each other. The New York Knicks are not like, hey, Knoxville's having a storm, let's play really well tonight. No, the probability of the Knicks winning and the probability of us having a storm are completely independent events. So this question gives it to you and says that A and B are independent. So you meet that condition. If we meet the condition of independence, we can simply multiply through. So once again, we can take the probability of A being 30% and the probability of B being 50% and get 30% times 50% is 0.15. Now it's important to note what these questions are covering right here. If we are able to add together events, we meet the disjoint, i.e. mutually exclusive rule for the events. And then we can simply add them together and you'll hear the word or, that's part one. In part two, we're looking at the rule of independence, which allows us to multiply events together. And that's where you'll hear the word and. And is with multiplication and requires independence. Or is with addition and requires the events to be disjoint, i.e. mutually exclusive. Good luck reviewing.